occurs. There is one more typing and that is if we make those chromosomes once again uh, there is a recess type as well or um, there are actually more than one I think there are C, D, E and F there are four. So, A and B is this type and then C, D, E, F are the recess type but out of those the recess D type R, H, D type is significant because it is strong enough antigenic that it can cause transfusion reactions and especially these reactions become more important in case of the mother and fetal uh, differences if mother is negative and fetal is, fetus is positive that is where the problem can come. So, we will talk about that as well. So, 85 percent of the people are rhesus positive that means they have rhesus D gene expressing rhesus D molecules as well. So, 85 percent of the people are RHD positive. So, now please remember 85 percent of the people are secretors they secrete the ABO antigens in their secretions and then 85 percent of the people are RHD positive, positive as well. So, keep this in mind and now let us look at the transfusion reactions or even before that first we will do how to do the blood group typing and then we will do how the transfusion reactions occur. Okay. So, <coughs> blood group typing let us say this is A the blood group typing is done this way. Okay, so, one more thing before we go to the blood group typing is that what happens to the serum of a person who is a particular blood group. So, let us look at that. Let us say we have we have blood this is the blood group blood group blood group means antigen present on the surface of the RBCs specifically in our case and what happens to the blood serum of the same person. So, think about yourself whatever is your blood group let us talk about what is on your RBC and what is in your serum. So, I am blood group B. So, let us start from B from me. So, blood group B means the RBCs either have B O antigens these this and this the H antigen is called O right. So, either have B O or 2 B's that is what is the blood group B. Now, what happens to the serum what is in my serum? So, my serum has anti anti A antibodies this is very interesting. Why do not I have anti B antibodies because I have the B as a self antigen my immune system has been trained to ignore the B as an antigen. So, I will not make antibodies against my own uh, B antigen, but I do not have A antigen if I had A antigen then I will be called blood group A B. So, I do not have A instead my serum has antibodies against A that is very interesting. So, how did these antibodies come into me when a baby is born when I was born my blood did not show anti A antibodies. So, these are not something that are the baby is capable of making right from the very first day these are not something that came from mother these are actually created as the baby is exposed to the antigens coming from bacteria and coming from the food he eats. What that means is this is a very significant uh, statement here what that means is that whatever we eat that food contains the antigens A and B both. So, whenever I eat something I may have in my food antigen A and B both that antigen will be absorbed in my blood and our immune system will look at that antigen. Then in my case it is going to look at antigen B and say oh well that is fine it is part of my body it would also look at the antigen A that got absorbed and say well this is a foreign antigen I am going to make an antibody against it. So, my blood is going to start developing within 2 to 3 months my blood is going to start developing anti A antibodies. Similarly, the bacteria that colonize our gut these bacteria also have picked up the enzymes that create these, uh, these uh, genes sorry that create these antibody and antigens. So, my bacteria in my gut 
are making B antigens and they are making A antigens and these antigens are coming into my blood. The only thing is once again immune system look at the B and says oh well that is why this is part of the body. But when it looks at A it says this is not part of the body and creates the anti-A antibodies. So remember this a person with the B blood group and B blood group means that the B antigen on the RBC person with the B blood group has always anti-A antibodies. Similarly and by always I mean he does not he or she does not have it by birth he or she does not have it for 2 to 3 months but after that they start developing. It is same way if the blood group is A that means RBCs are showing the antigen A on their surface and that would be either A and O or 2 A's mother and father. If the blood group is A RBCs have A antigen then the serum would have anti B antigen antibodies and why once again the same reason the food and the bacteria are always sending both A and B antigens in our body our body looks at A and says now oh well this is part of me I am not going to make antibodies to it but it looks at B and says well I have this is a foreign antigen and creates antibodies against that. So this is how these antibodies are produced. Now on the, what happens with the blood group O? O blood group means on my RBC I only have two H antigens one from mother and one from father I do not have A and I do not have B. If that is the case then what happens is that in my blood serum I develop anti A and I develop anti B antibodies. So my serum has antibodies against both the antigens. Now here is an important thing to remember USMLE focuses on that and normally in your practice this should be also very important. If I am blood group O then my antibodies present are IgG type this, this is how it is. In case of blood group O the antibodies produced in my body are anti uh, IgG type. In case of Ig if I am A or B and I am making antibodies only against the other type then these antibodies are IgM type. I hope you can understand what would happen. IgG, G looks like a pregnant belly right, IgG, G crosses placenta and so it can go from mother to the, to the fetus and so it can cause a reaction there. Right, so that is why this is very important and that is why this is going to be something that would be asked in the USMLE because blood transfusions and pregnancy is very important topic. Now if I am AB, if I am AB then I have both antigens I have A and B this RBC is actually showing AB blood group type. So I have A antigen and B antigen in that case when the bacteria in the food contain A antigen and B antigen and it comes to our body and our immune system looks at the, those antigens it is going to say oh well this is part of my body I have A and B both so I will have no antibodies no anti A or anti B antibodies. So this is a very important thing to understand that whatever is the blood group you should be able to tell right away what is in the serum of that person. Why is that important we will see that. Now let us see one more thing these antibodies these antibodies are called agglutinins agglutinins why what is agglutination agglutination is the clumping of the red blood cells so when red blood cells are mixed with the antibodies that react with these antigens these antigens are going to going to capture the red blood cells so let's say here is the red blood cell here is another red blood cell another red blood cell has gotten the antigens on top of them when the antibodies come IgM or IgG these are going to connect like this and once these are connected all these red blood cells are going to clump up like a clump or aggregate and that is called agglutination. So clumping up of the red blood cells due to the antigens antibodies binding to the antigens on the surface is called agglutination. So of course these antibodies are called agglutinins they cause the agglutination and the antigens are called agglutin, agglutinogens a a glutinogens. So agglutinogens and agglutinins so instead of saying antigen and antibody 
these are the special names that are used in, in case of the blood transfusion topic. Okay, so now we understand what is in the on the surface of the blood cells and we understand what is in the serum. Now let us talk about how the type blood typing is done. So keep this in mind. So let us see how the blood typing is done. So the, the way the blood typing is done is a person's blood. So let us say we want to see what is Mubin's blood type and blood type B. So let us say the person's blood is taken and those RBCs are put on one side of the slide. So this is my blood on one side and then this is my blood on the other side of the slide as well or two places. Then the blood is poured, so we drop on this blood NTA serum and NTB serum. What does that mean? All that means is that we are dropping antibodies to A and antibodies to B here. And what does that mean? Over here we have sent in IgM that would react with B antigen, this antigen. And over here we have sent IgM that would react with A antigen. Now let us say it is my blood and I am B, but at this time we did not know what would happen is antibody B. So if I make one RBC out of this one, so here is the one RBC and that RBC is going to have B on it. So how is that B? This is the this is the galactose, this is galactose plus fucose and this is the N acetyl glucose, right? The structure. So this is B. So I have gotten B here. So it may be B and B or B or H. There are two. So I am just going to make B H so it is fast. N glucose and galactose and fucose. So this is the B. I have gotten B. Now what we sent in is we have sent in IgM that is going to cross react with B. So what would happen is IgM is going to come and capture or bind to this B. Then there is another RBC that is also showing the same B. This is another RBC and that is also showing the B. The other is going to bind, other end is going to bind there. So this is the IgM. And similarly there is one more IgM that is going to do that here. And so the result is many RBCs are going to become clumped together, right? And so we will say a glutination occurred. A a glutination occurred on this side. However, on this side we have sent an antibody against A antigen and my blood cells are not showing any A antigen, they only have B. So this A antibody has no place to attach and so this side the blood is going to stay fluid and it is not going to clump up. So based on that they would say well Mubin your blood group is B. Now let us see the other option if the B did not clump up and A became agglutinated then that would mean that the blood group is A. Blood group A means RBCs are showing the antigen A and when we sent in the antibody against antigen A these would combine and the clumping would occur. If they both clumped that means I have antigen A and I have antigen B on my RBC surfaces that means I am AB. If none of them clumped that means I do not have antigen A or antigen B in that case what do I have? I have gotten the antigen O, right? And antigen O does not show antigenicity, so that would be O or empty, right? So, this is how the typing is done, very simple process, no, nothing magic in here. Uh, now, once the typing is done, let us talk about what happens during the transfusion. It is a very simple thing, I have seen students sometimes getting confused, uh, nothing to be confused about. Yes, it is bad if this happens in the hospital, so uh, a lot of precaution has to be taken, a lot of care has to be taken, but nothing to be confused about understanding what it means. So let us do the transfusion, actually not transfusion but transfusion reaction. So let us say this is a patient who came to you, this is a patient and this patient is B positive or B, positive is for the recess so let us leave that for the, for the time being, this patient is B. And let us say this is his blood, right? So, this is the patient. 
and here is his blood. The blood has gotten of course the RBCs and his RBC are going to show what B right. So, this, these are the B antigens present on the RBC and what is his serum going to show? His serum is going to show anti A antibodies or agglutinins. So, he has gotten anti A antibodies in his serum. This is me exactly. So, B antigens are present. So, blood group is B and the serum of the patient is having anti A antibodies. Now, let us inject this patient with A blood group. It is a mismatch. Uh, somebody did not take care of it. Either the placement of the blood was wrong that they put in the uh, incorrectly put A into the B compartments or the bag was filled with the wrong blood type or bag was labeled with the wrong blood type although this all is computerized nowadays. So, it is uh, not that big of a chance, but it still happens in the world. Uh, 